is Rick Baldwin. Um, my uh, lady Susan Olson and I, and along with my family, own the wine shop. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I was a mortgage guy for 35 years, and I just cashed in my chips and am happy to be doing this. Down here is $15 and under, and a lot of people shop down here, and you can drink very, very well down here. So if you know you just want to pop in to get a great bottle of wine for the weekend, but don't want to have to spend that. We have all price points. Great. They're all good wines. I've tasted them all myself. So up here in the mezzanine level are Oregon wines. Obviously, we have to carry a lot of Oregon wines because we live in Oregon. Mostly Pinot Noirs and Whites and basically of all price points. We have a lot of local artwork displayed in here from local artists. Um, and as we go upstairs to the tasting area, we we have a whole wall of champagne, bubbly, cavas, proseccos, and dessert wines here, and wines that go up to about the $30 price point here. Again, from all over the world, all different types, uh, mostly things you won't find in the grocery store. And then we have a lot of Italian food items here, uh, brought in by Italian distributors, um, truffle salts, things like that. We have a lot of fun with that. And then we're entering the fine wine room where basically the sky's the limit as far as what you want to spend. We have a lot of collectibles, mailing list only wines, older vintages um, of uh, things like Silver Oak and Chateau Montalena, what have you, larger format bottles, magnums, double magnums, and um, and just about anything you'd want to find. And I guess that you could even order that really difficult to find. Somebody had a taste of something in Tuscany and if it can be, has if, to have if it. If it's distributed in Oregon, we can find it. Yeah. What is your most treasured bottle in this room? I mean, this is the fine wine. Well, <laughs> this here's a bottle right here. That is a hundred point wine from Robert Parker. Uh, it's a Sinquanon is the name of the maker, and it's called a Shot in the Dark. It's Syrah, and it, believe it or not, costs four hundred and fifty dollars. And if I get to sell enough of them, I can have one. <laughs> <laughs> That's your reward. <laughs> That's my reward. And um, our most popular thing is our Friday night tastings, which, which. Uh, we starts here and actually spreads all over the shop. We have uh, themed tastings every Friday night from 5 to 8, uh, and it's become real popular. We're getting between 40 and 70 people on Friday nights. They're not here all at the same time. So don't An additional worry. thing on our Friday night tastings is to add a little spice to everything. Um, I saber open the... Uh, we always start with a bubbly on Friday night, and I saber open the champagne bottles. It's an, oh, so it's not savor, it's savor. With a flourish, with an, you open it. <laughs> authentic champagne savor. We open two or three bottles on Friday night. So, Rick, what sets you apart here at World Class Wine in Lake Oswego? Well, um, you know, a bottle shop uh, like ourselves is a lot different than a grocery store. We uh, are willing and able to spend the time to have you pick out the wine that you really want, or if you want suggestions, uh, we have wine club that uh, we tailor to exactly what you want. Uh, it's very flexible; you can change it at any time. Um, it's just personal service and variety of wine. Say hello to Lo Lake Oswego. Oregon.